How's it going, players and trainers? It's your boy, The Blazing Squid. And if, for those that aren't aware, I challenged this boy, Steven. Steven said I could not beat him. I can never take his rank. I challenged him to a gentleman wager. I had to go back to TOTPG. Like, you guys know we were going back in time. We were looking for 2015 squid. We, I went back. I was like, yo, we have gentleman wager, which we can challenge each other. And loser has to give it. Loser has to give it up, up off. You know, give it everything up. Start all the way from the bottom. June one, one again. And I was pretty confident in myself. I, I was like, you know, I'm not gonna let Steven just bully me around. I'm gonna show him what I got. And so I challenged him. You know, he's a uh, the ghost type. I'm the fairy type. As you can see here, I have Mimikyu, uh, Tapu Lele, uh, Tapu Finny, which I nicknamed Tapu Coco. My Mimikyu is called Ratty Who, for Ratty Blue Wiz, but Ratty Who, you know. Gardevoir, Black Swan is always, Primarina, uh, Gramble, and Klefki. A little bit about my mods are Gosium Z, Mimikyu. Uh, Tapu Finny is bulky, but choice scarf to outspeed, like, timid Gengar. Which would be his fastest mod. And then we have Gardevoir, which is a naive nature. Yes, naive nature. Um, enough to outspeed Mimikyu. Uh, we got Primarina, which is my bulky, a set, uh, uh, bulk, special defensive bulky assault user, 60 um, special attack, 252 into its. Uh, special defense of the rest in HP. Gramble is a 20 in attack, just enough to uh, negative speed nature. I think I'm running Brave. Uh, so, Brave, it's negative. No zero IVs in speed. I need payback. Uh, so, if I'm slower and I can just hit them with the payback, it'll be like a base 100. Um, I got Crunch just in case it's Trick Room, so then I'll be faster than most of his mods. I also have Play Rough and I have Earthquake. I'm holding the Focus Sash, so just in case any shenanigans, last game, last second. And then we have the Eject Button, Cleft Key holding Switcheroo, holding uh, Reflect, Light Scream, and Foul Play. Foul Play for any mods like Mimikyu that might try to Swords Dance or the Edge of Slash. I also have the Switcheroo Eject Button for the Edge of Slash. I know it gets weakness policy. So if I, I see if it sets up and I like I lead off the thing or I, like if I brought Chandelure, I was actually spending the Chandelure a little bit too. Um I this team was basically based off his last team. I, I, I was battling against his last team. I noticed the Delmas was a assault vest user. So I know that Mimikyu is gonna be huge against the Delmas if I can just play it right. So we'll just jump into this battle and we'll see how it all goes down, actually. So let's hit that. Oh, stop recording. I never stopped recording. Oh, yeah. Okay, no. I'm not supposed to die. We're supposed to be recording. My bad, my bad. I meant to click start the battle. And my dog is actually knocking on the door. So. What's up, Chiquita? Good morning to you, too. Alright, so let's jump into the battle. See how it all goes down. And let's get the music rolling. Whoa. Whoa, my bad. My bad. Alright, so Steven's entering the challenge, and then as soon as I see him start off with the Sableye and Delmise, ah. And I thought, you know, I have to start off with Mimikyu. It has taunt, it can stop any trick room shenanigans. As we see, do see the configures. So here I know I can just. I If he brought the same set, Delmise, which is a salt vest, we can knock this out with the Gosium Z right here, right now. And I go, okay, please, even if he's 252, he needs, like, a good amount of defensive investment plus 252 HP in order to live this. So here I have my fingers crossed. If it's not, if it's just straight up 252 HP and the rest in special defense, and I say some attack, we are doing at least 105%. So it's guaranteed Oko. No focus sash, please. And we see no focus sash, which is huge. So basically for turn one, one Mon goes down, which is on his end of the field. Perfectly fine by me, perfectly fine. So now we can actually land a Moonblast here. As we do see, he has the, I think it would be the Rosali Berry. I think that's the usual berry. 
So even without the barrier, we would have not knocked this thing out since it cut it down in half, which is fine by me. Um, actually, not having the Rosali berry, I mean, having that berry actually kind of saves us. As we do see here, it gets Metal Burst, and Metal Burst is going to do quite a bit of damage to us. As Configures, it's going to go here for the Shadow Ball and break our thing, which I'm fine with. Um, I couldn't risk the Trick Room. I know I could have gone for a nice stab like Shadow Claw right here. But if he had set up the trick room, we would have been in huge trouble. Um, so I'm just going to Moonblast here. Hope for a special attack drop as we do see the special attack drop. And we're going for uh, the Dragon Claw here. I don't see this Save White doing much. So it brings us down to 106 as the configures is going to Shadow Ball here. Um... Looking by that damage, Shadow Ball really did not matter. I mean, the special attack drop did not matter. I would have lived regardless. Uh, I would have lived regardless for the next turn to be able to knock it out. As he is going to switch out uh, here and bring in the Edge of Slash, which is a scary moment. I was running my couch. I, a physical variant Edge of Slash did a huge amount of damage to me. I got the special attack drop here, and I said, all right, if, if he's a special attacking Mon, this is going to be very useful for us. Um, this is going to help us out a lot in the long run. He brings in the Gengar here. I know I have to switch out Tabu, Ko oh, Ko Tabu, Ko Tabu Finny here, bring in uh, Klefki in case he does go for like a Sludge Wave, knowing that Sludge Wave would not affect his edge slash and he would get huge damage off on both of my mods so i'm gonna safely switch into here um go for a shadow sneak just get at least 50 percent but that does a little less than when i wanted to but that's fine mimikyu has put in a tremendous amount of work already and i'm fine with this like regardless if i would have recorded this live um i don't think it would have made a huge difference because i was I was in the zone like I was like I was not playing games I was being very serious um this is my Klefki oh I did, did I talk about Klefki Klefki is my calm nature it's 252 into special defense and 252 into its HP because I really did not like the damage I was taking from uh, Chandelure that's fine by me so he's going to switch out Gengar here, which is actually huge. It's actually really good for us. Uh, and he's going to bring him back to the thing. We're going to set up our light screen. I need to take up hits. And then Edge of Slash goes here and goes for the Shadow Sleep. What do I learn from that play right there? I actually learned something huge. We learned that this is not a physical variant edge slash by gauging the damage it did right there that means it has more investments into its special side than its actual attacking side so uh at that moment i wasn't too afraid i'm gonna just switch out i am choice scarf so i know in the long run i might need it and especially if i get um a reflect off as i do here i would be able to live another shadow sneak no problem and be able to get some nice shadow balls off here so now we see the Z move, and I'm like, oh no, what is this? Z wood hammer? Uh, did I really just lose people in here? That was the only thing I know on this team that could be very, very scary for my my pre marina. So I'm going to go for a skull right here just to break the. No, oh, shuffle. Shuffle. I just did lavender. We can do. Louis. Lugia. All right, so he's gonna go for um, pain split here. I'm running 122. I ran my couch here because my mod should be able to leave live anything he throws at me. He misses the play rough, which is huge, but missing the play rough actually plays against me because I went for the shadow ball. Um, 
And the Shadow Ball, as I know here, it's a weakness policy thing. So now activates a weakness policy. So I'd rather have had the the player of land. So I didn't have to go through this exactly right now and activate that. Like, like I could have switched a route next turn and everything and been fine. But at the same time, I did run my calcs. And let me just let you guys know from an adamant plus three an adamant plus three mimic you play rough to pre marina. You see that, that's what I'm talking about. I live on two, barely on two with um car keys because of this ridiculous turn there of of activating his thing, thing due to a play rough miss but then as i run my calcs i do see here that a 196 behind the i'm standing at 67 percent and play rough does about 58 to 68 percent 58.3 to 68% from a plus 3 behind Reflect. So basically, I live on a low roll. Actually, almost mid, like low to mid roll, I would have lived. He would just have to need to land a high roll in order to kill. But regardless, he could have been, you know, save one next turn and got the huge, um, the huge thing off. Um, the other thing I see here is, his Sableye, he didn't bring Prankster. I think he might have messed up bringing the wrong Sableye. Um, I don't know. Can't, can't say much on that end. But I'm fine with Tabu Coco there going down. I could just go for a super effective Psychic here, uh, which would be stronger. I could have gone for Scald, which would have been boosted by the rain. I mean, by the, the turret, since I am in turret range. But once again, as you see here, plane split going last, like dead last. He brought the wrong set, which is it's fine. I it's okay. I, no, it's not okay. But but uh, I really did like Top of Finney in this game because it it stopped him from going for Willow Wisp. If he did bring Willow Wisp, it stopped him from bringing it. It does stop my skulls from getting burns, which is okay, I guess. I. Uh, He's just trying to delay the inevitable here, but I am really sorry about that, Stefan. I'm pretty sure you meant to bring a prankster. I don't, I don't know why. I, the only other thing they had to stall, unless that was part of the trick room, but I doubt it. I might think he meant to bring the thing, but we do walk away with a 4-0 lead here, and Stephen is gonna be bumped down to Gym One. I will be challenging Brendan Lex. Um, he is fighting, so. We have the upper advantage, but I should never take that too lightly. Too lightly. But yo, great game to Stefan. Stefan, um, I don't know to tell you the truth. I don't know. Uh, this battle was awkward. I was there. I was like, I don't. I I, I felt like nothing really was going for Stefan this game. Nothing was going his way whatsoever. And that's Pokemon sometimes. Sometimes you just get stuck and there's nothing you can do about it. Unfortunately, Gar Gardevoir did not get to see the field. If not, it would have been put in some huge work. But with that said, you're looking at your new E3, hopefully future E4. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, we were all waiting for this gentleman wager. It's been a a while since we've had, last had one and I'm really excited that I, I was able to pull through with the W on this one my fairies my beautiful fairies fairy tale for the win uh, with that said you guys are amazing stay blazing have an awesome day peace